Oh my god, he chooses the worst costume possible. Alright. Oh, you know what's coming. What's the game plan? You got a game plan? Round one. Fight. Okay. Alright, let's look here. Alright, he dashes. Ken's dash is really hard to stop, but that's a big opportunity. Every time someone dashes, it's just like they jumped. You gotta treat it the same way. It's like, those are punishes that must just happen. You get a big opportunity. It's really hard to stop people dashing, but that's just how we gotta look at it. Simple, but a plan, that's what, that's what you need. That's, that's the best kind of game plan, is the simple ones. Oof. Okay. Okay, big punish opportunity there. Another punish opportunity. This is minus four. So, you can use your jab starter, right? So, when he... When he does this hurricane kick... Ideally, the best the best thing to do is to crouch block and then jump after him. So, like, when he goes over you, here you're hitting grab, right? But when he goes over you here, this is an opportunity for you to jump in and do a jump in combo. And then he does it again. You can choose to anti-air him, but if you block, just crouch block, you get to do jab, target combo, special move. Okay. Show you again. Oh my god, he's going in. There are a lot of normals you threw out there. Right? And it's like, okay, are we are we stopping him from advancing? Ideal ideally in a perfect world, you only want to use your, your normal attack when it's gonna touch them. Okay. Right, and if, if your game plan is like Okay, occasional surprise, not okay, that that fits, right? Oh man. Another opportunity. This is just a reaction thing. Right? Hard to react, but right there he did dash. Dash right in your face. Another another huge chance. The main thing as a new player or like as a as a, a low level player is you want to have control of the situation. And that, that might sound a little bit ambiguous, but when the more you play and the more you watch, you'll you'll see what I what I mean, right? Like you you wanna be able to have confidence in the situation. If you're constantly in a if you're constantly in a state of mind like oh shit I need to oh, I need to react I need to do something if you're trying to go fast you're gonna end up you know hitting a gajillion buttons at once right um, it might seem like you need to go really really fast but you don't you don't actually have to that's an illusion you can actually slow down you can go pretty slow with like your thinking and your decisions and stuff oh that was a good anti. -air. Okay, huge, huge punish opportunity. Just got to practice punishing it. Okay. There, this situation, you took, you took damage here. Right? He, he's close. So it's like, okay, I want to touch him. But, but he was too far away for sweep in the first place. Right? So, I mean, he did get close, but... It was less of a reaction and more of like, okay, I just want to touch him. I'm going to use my sweep, right? The idea is not bad. It's just the ac execution of the idea. Also, in, in this situation, I can tell that you're thinking about trying to punish him. But you're not exactly sure of, like, what is your punish going to be, right? I would practice I would practice a basic punish 
that's like fast and I would do that for literally everything just to begin with just do that for like a week almost like that would, like a pretty long time like find a punish that you can do like a easy punish combo even if it's just like I don't know jab target combo kicks scythe or something like that right like find something that starts with your jab or that starts with a fast move and just do that to everything like just make that like okay all I'm gonna do is this yeah medium punch medium punch into something right even if it's just medium punch into scythe okay here's a so you use fierce here again the this is minus four, so this is a huge opportunity for you to um, for you to punish him, right? This is minus minus four, so you can start with your jab. Uh, Nash's stand hard punch is minus, so it's good to keep that in mind that your your hard punch is punishable. See how this is this is minus five, right? Um, he could do. 230 damage to you right now but he just misses it i mean he could even just did raw dp so here again we want we want that punish we want like stand medium punch target stand medium punch crouch medium punch uh scythe or just stand medium punch scythe like some sort of some sort of punish right ideally you want to look at like okay what's nash's bread and butter and then try to get into the bread and butter as much as possible. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even worry about target. I wouldn't even worry about um, crush counter combos or anything like that. Just pick one punish at a time, right? Like you're you're building up a library. You're building up a collection of situations and responses to them, right? If you try to fan out and get every situation the best you can right now, it's gonna be really hard. So I would just focus on learn one thing until it's really easy and you're not worried about it. And then another thing until it's really easy and you're not worried about it, right? Um, yeah, like right here, I would go for stand medium punch, crouch medium punch, or whatever the Nash bread and butter is. Okay. Opportunish. The crush counter is good, but the crush counter is good and necessary at a against a stronger opponent. But versus this guy, you don't you don't need to crush counter him as much as you just need to complete a full punish combo, right? The idea is good. The idea you have is strong because you're let you're letting him kill himself, which is a. a it makes sense, right? Like, the, the things you're doing go together. Yeah, he's just... He's 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 murdering himself, right? Which is, like... Th this is, like, stereotypically a Ken thing. But all players will do this until a point. This is, like, a really good opportunity for you to practice, like, one thing over and over again. Okay, there's a lot of anti-air opportunities here. Um, my advice would be if, if you want to worry about anti-airing, which is a good thing to worry about right now, Pick one anti-air. Just pick one. It doesn't even have to be your best one. Just pick one you want to learn how to use. And then go for that. Right. Okay, fireballs are good. Anti-air. Sweep. 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 So... Sweep is the, the you're using sweep, right? Ideally, 
you want to replace this with that punish combo you learned. Because the sweep is very, very risky on block. Or very, very potential negative consequence on block. Like, huge potential negative consequences. So, the sweep is... The sweep works here. But it will build up a bad habit. Just some... Basically, small adjustment. One... Small adjustment. And you're in there. Let's actually... Let me go to training mode to demonstrate... To try and demonstrate this. Yeah. What you want to pick is you want to pick one go-to thing. And that that's what you're, you're going to worry about. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. So, Shoken. Okay, okay. So, if the opponent does this, I, I would load this up in training mode. This is exactly, like, this is not, like, a theoretical thing. This is, like, actually, like, a just something that you need to, like, sit down and, and practice, right? So, this is a situation. You can handle this in two ways. You can anti-air, right? You can just go for the... If, if it misses, not the end of the world. Just just block, right? You can anti-air this, or you can try to punish it. Right? Uh, I believe a, a Nash combo is like... Like this, like jab, light, medium, I believe. Yeah, right? And then you can cancel that into Scythe. So you could just... Or Fireball, right? Oh my god, I suck. Right, can you cancel that? Can you cancel this? I don't know Nash. Stand Light Punch, stand Medium Punch? Only on Counter Hit, right? Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So you're you're the Nash player, not me, right? So this this is it. This is this is the hotness right here. The Nash combo I know is like this. This is the Nash combo I know. But this is not bad, right? This is not bad. So this would punish. This would punish this. Right? This would punish this. You don't want to lab too much at one time. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree. I, you need, you're going to need to learn this combo here. Oh my god, Ken is whooping my ass. You, you, this is necessary. Right? But right now, I would focus on just getting some sort of punish. Right? Just something really basic and just making sure that you do it. Because you want to get away from just doing sweep and this, right? While you can check people, I wouldn't worry about it. Especially as a, as a new player, I would only focus on just hitting, just hitting this, just hitting the, this basic easy combo. Um, now I, I know that this isn't like the optimal combo and you really want to be doing this one or you want to be doing something more advanced, but by just making this the thing you're going for. Right? Like, play play 20 games. Play 20 games. And your, your only objective is to hit this. If you hit this, you won. Right? 
that's that's what I would recommend is is play play 10 or 20 games and only go for this right don't go for it I mean of course go for like maybe blocking right you don't just want to block with your face but go for go for this because it's gonna teach you and help you practice being a being like aware of the situation you're gonna know like okay now I can go for my jab right I don't need to just do it you know what I mean because in in those that replay I watched he was getting away with a lot right now you, this is this might sound like oh man I'm gonna be stuck doing this all day right but you won't be stuck doing this all day it'll be really really quick actually like you'll you'll pick it up very quickly a basic punish for ken target combo one hk tanzu yeah i would just add jab so the the basic combo for ken would be a little bit longer it you you'd start with you'd still start with jab but you just have to add in a hard punch before you do your special so it's literally it's the same input but just one more button Right? I mean, honestly, what can you could just do this. Oops. <laughs> it, you could literally do the same input. You could literally do... You could literally do the same input. If you wanted, but I, this is the combo for Ken you want to do. As long as you're close enough, this will punish everything that's punishable most of the time. Right? So, what I would do is in training mode... Pick Ken or Nash. Set the dummy to Ken. Right? Do this combo three times. Then make the dummy do Hurricane Kick and do the combo to him. Right? And then once you get, like, okay, I'm, I can get this three times in a row. Once you can get this three times in a row with either character of your choice, the punish. Go online and just go for this. Just go for that basic punish. Um, you, it'll, it'll, you'll get it down way faster than you think. Like you, you're not going to be doing that for like 10 years. You know what I mean? I wouldn't worry about anything else. You can worry about like advanced stuff. Once you have that punish down, once you're comfortable with that, pick an anti-air attack, right? So with Ken and Nash, you could use Crouch Fierce and then just go for your punish. And then if they jump, go for down Fierce, right? But one, one thing at a time, build it up, build it up slowly and intentionally set your victory goal not to be just to win but to land your combo right that's the number that's the number one thing i would recommend after seeing those replays like okay we need it we need a combination aa's already yeah the new faster punish combo will be the new one yeah when you are there there's a lot there's a lot of shit to do, right? And like, you can always add something on. You can always improve on something. But what I will say is work on one specific thing at a time until you know, until you know absolutely that you need something else, right? So I would say, don't even worry about AAing people, right? Just worry about blocking. If like, I mean, I mean to the extreme, like don't, I got you. Don't worry about AAing people as a new player. Just worry about landing your one combo. And even if you come up against Zangief and he just does jump, grab, jump, grab, that's fine. That's that's absolutely fine. You let him grab you all day. Just worry about your one thing. And then once you feel really comfortable, once that one thing becomes you don't have to think about it, then you move on to the second thing. And it, it'll happen a lot faster than you think it will. 
I mean, you might think it might happen fast. I'm just saying it. In the beginning, it seems like it's going to be like, oh, this sucks. I can't do anything except for this. But just try it, you know? I'm working on AAs since those replays. Yeah. Your AAs to without thinking phase? Yeah. The, the, the best analogy I can use is it should be like driving a car. If you remember back, like, think back to the first time you ever drove a car or, like, if you don't own a car because you live in a big city or you live in space or something, um, think about the first time you rode a bicycle or something like that, right? How, like, hyper-aware you are. Eventually, it becomes no no-brainer, right? It's just the same thing. That's the that's the thing I would recommend. All the all the like theoretical and conceptual stuff. I mean, you can think you can you can do all that stuff if you want. It's cool. It's fun to think about. It's like part of the hobby. Highly recommend it. But I would only worry about that one thing right now. Right? I would just one one thing at a time, and then you'll you'll know. Like when you need extra shit, you'll you'll know. Which situation do you try to confirm crouch medium punch, stand medium punch, and Tatsu? Okay, so confirming counter hits. Yeah, like in intentional practice is absolutely huge and important. I myself am in fact mad guilty of not doing intentional practice. Right. If you if you practice with intention, you're 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 improving so much faster than people aren't. 